Hello and welcome back to Curve Swamp City, where today I'm bringing you another WWE 2K16 tutorial. This time we're going to be unlocking NPC, which stands for non-playable characters. So firstly, you need to make sure that you've got Cheat Engine. Um, there'll be a link in the description below um, to download that and install it. Once you've done that, go to the Google document link that I've put in the description as well. Um, and then open up Cheat Engine and then click on this little computer at the top and then make sure you load in WWE 2K16 so you'll need your game to be open make sure it's on the main menu um, once you've done that hit memory view next you'll be shown a load of numbers then you need to go onto your Google document file and hit control F and you need to search for the playable character or the non-playable character that you want to install. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you Paul Bearer. So first search for Paul Bearer and you'll find him at the bottom. Next to him you'll, you'll see the column unlock hex. You need to copy that and then go to your cheat engine, right click and click go to address. You need to paste in the address in there and click OK. The first number is, well, it will be free at the minute, so we'll just change it to free. Um, because it's free because he's a manager in the game. For some of them, it will be zero, which means they're not in the game at all. But what we want to do is make sure this first value is number one, which puts him on the wrestler list. Um, also, he won't have a entrance at the minute. so. We need to, to fi find whose entrance we want to give him. So in this, I'm going to do the Undertaker. Um, we'll just do Undertaker Retro. Then you need to go along to Entrance Animation Hex for the Undertaker and copy it. Next, you need to go to Search, uh, Go to Address, sorry, um, paste that in there, click OK. Then you need to right click and do Display Type 2 Byte Decimal. Um, and then you'll see that the Undertaker's value for his entrance is 411 so what we're going to do we need to go back to Paul Bearer we don't need to, don't make sure you don't touch that we go back to Paul Bearer entrance animation hex copy the exact same thing but for Paul Bearer then same again go to address and you'll notice his is 251 um, I'm not sure what animation this is but it doesn't load in anyway so what we need to do is change it to 411 and the, th the third one along as well, which is his title animation, needs to be 411. Once you've done this, you need to go into the game. So all that does is ensures that he's got an entrance, um, which he wouldn't have if you didn't do this. Some of them have, like Mr. McMahon, he's an NPC, he's got an entrance. But in, in the case where they haven't got an entrance showing, you'll need to do that. And then we'll just do a match with Seth Rollins. Then we'll just go into the game, and then he'll come out to, hopefully, Undertaker's entrance. And there we go, the lights are off. If you do want to add music, you'll need to go to Create an Entrance. Also, what you'll need to do for most of them as well is go to create a move set and make the move set for them. As obviously Paul Bearer hasn't been registered with a move set because he's in as a manager. Also, the same with the unlock hex. If you want to just add someone as a manager and not a wrestler, so for example, you might just want Michael Cole to manage the Miz, for example. Change his unlock hex to free. Um, one makes them wrestler, three makes them manager. So I think Rosa Mendez is free. Um, I've made her one, so she's now on the Divas menu. Um, so yeah. Some of them as well might be in the downloadable characters section rather than superstars or divas. But there is a way to change that. Um, so we'll just quickly do that. If, for example, say you've done 
Miss Elizabeth. I think she may be DLC. So you need to copy next to her name, DLC hex one. Go into Cheat Engine again, go to address. Make sure that display type is byte hex. Okay, so she's not she's not actually DLC, I thought she was. Um, but in the case of the person is, and you want them just to be in the regular menu, just make sure this first value is zero, zero, for um, for DLC hex one. Um, then they'll be in your standard menu, the same as everyone else. So yeah, um, so remember that DLC hex one decides whether they're DLC or not. But yeah, that's everything for this tutorial. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, subscribe for more WWE 2K16 mods and general wrestling content, and until next time, peace.